What's going on guys? So I had a few comments about running an eighth inch stick on there. This goes out to Gio Miranda. Um, he mentioned that I should try 60 series ride rod with this machine. Um, I had that thought in mind to do it in the beginning. I didn't have any, so I kind of wanted to push the machine to its limits, but let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I got some 6011 rod here. So I got 6011 rod here and I got 6013 here. So I'm gonna try 6013 and 6011. I'm gonna try to run both of them and I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, I'm not expecting a much better result. It may work, it may run a little better just because these require less amperage, but um, let's go get at it. So we're gonna set the machine up for stick. Remember, don't forget that. And if you have any attachments plugged in, you need to unplug those because they will not switch to stick if you have a pedal plugged in for the TIG mode. So one quick um, thing, if you're going to try to tack a piece in place, you can always hold your, you can always hold your, uh, you set, say you set your stick up and you're way out here trying to tack it, you know, you're getting out here and you're kind of not really getting a good you can get up real close like this and hold the stick actually like this and just get in and just buzz it out real quick so this is eighth inch material I'm just gonna attempt to do a fillet weld on here see how it runs That actually ran really nicely. The thing about this this particular rod is it doesn't it doesn't really uh, come off like. 11 does I but I think a combination of running um, the 6011 rod and then running it on I ran it on the full amperage that it can run and then also an 18 inch uh, 18 or 8th inch plate is gonna make all the difference been we're trying to weld you know a quarter inch plate with 718 you're just this machine isn't going to handle that i mean that is totally acceptable running that rod with this plate that is you're you can get away with that no problem running that on this machine with 6011 so let's go ahead and try 6013 and then maybe I'll I'll jump it up and try it on some quarter inch plate so again if you just want to if you just want to tack it in place just get your hand like this like you're holding a pencil just get in there real quick and and get a good little tack on there That actually laid in. <laughs> that actually laid in pretty nice. So 
that's the 6013, which, I mean, laid in really nicely, actually. It felt cold when I was going through, but it, I mean, you can, so 6013, that's 6011. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try another 60, I'm gonna do 6011 on the other side of the 6013 side. Uh, plate's a little warm, so it might run, it might run a little better. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I got some quarter inch plates set up. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so we're gonna try 6011 first and then we'll do 6013 on the other side. Ran pretty nice. I'll just do the sixteen thirteen right next to it. That one took a bit to get started. Uh, I don't know what the, I don't know how the penetration looks on that. So basically, what I discovered with that is, it's not, gonna, <laughs> it, it's not going to run on a quarter inch material. It, uh, it just kind of, it doesn't flatten out. Uh, if, if you're running eighth inch rod on eighth or a uh, yeah, an eighth inch, if you're running an eighth inch rod on eighth inch material, it will work. If you go up into quarter inch material with the eighth, in, eighth inch rod with this machine, you don't have enough amperage to have enough penetration. I mean, it, it looks, it looks okay. It's not, I wouldn't be comfortable with using that for anything structural, anything you're going to be using that you want to have good strength with. Um, I would go ahead and run um, a 332nd rod. As you can see, I had a lot of trouble getting the 6013 rod even started. Once it was once it was going, it was pretty all over the place. It wasn't running too well. The 6011 rod, 
seemed to run okay it just wasn't um it wasn't i mean i think i got enough penetration it's not gonna it's not gonna shear off or anything and break i think it's good enough for you know most applications other than something structural that you're really wanting it to have good strength um so that's the that's basically what you're going to get with capabilities of this machine the lincoln electric 31 mp with eighth inch rod you're not going to be able to run uh 70 series rod with this machine at all it won't work it, it just doesn't run uh you can do 60 series rod with this uh on eighth inch material if you go up to quarter inch you're kind of pushing it it doesn't really work too well so that's what I got to say. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. Peace.